Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, March 31st. You know what tomorrow is, right? April 1st. It is the year 2022, and this is episode 3767. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Attitude Adjustment. Stay tuned. So I can remember significantly three people in my memory in my past who have used that term, Attitude Adjustment. Now, it is usually somebody saying, you need an attitude adjustment, right? Coach Reams in junior high school. Yeah, that's before you had middle school. Junior high school used to be 7th, 8th, and ninth. Coach Reams, he would he would be talking to the whole class, you need an attitude adjustment. How about my drill instructor when I was in boot camp in the Navy in 1969? <laughs> you guys need an attitude adjustment. And yeah, every once in a while, I would hear it from my parents. You need an attitude adjustment. You know what? Maybe you and I need an attitude adjustment. We're living in crazy, crazy times. Let me share with you some passages of scripture from Psalm 109. Are you ready? In return for my love... They are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. They have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Now let me read verse 4 again to you. In return for my love, they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. Now, David recounts in this psalm how he was attacked without cause by people and appealed to God for help. He said that he had done everything possible to be both loving and to show friendship for them, but they responded to his acts of kindness with betrayal. He then called for justice on his enemies. In the New Testament, Jesus charges us to have a different attitude toward our enemies. One higher. One more selfless than just temporary justice. Listen to what he says. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you and pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. Easy preaching, hard living, right? Most believers will experience this in at least once in their life. When kindness is repaid with evil, Do you become bitter or better? F.B. Meyer wrote this, and I want to share this with you. He says, we make a mistake in trying always to clear ourselves. We should be wiser to go straight on, humbly doing the next thing and leaving God to vindicate us. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. There may come hours in our lives when we shall be misunderstood, slandered, falsely accused. At such times, it's very difficult not to act on the policy of the men around us in the world. They at once appeal to law and force and public opinion. But the believer takes his case into a higher court and lays it before his God. 
Lord, we choose to forgive as you have forgiven us. That should be our prayer today. Help us to give this back to you in any way it comes up. Every day. In return for my love, they are my accusers. But I give myself to prayer. Father, I pray that today you would help us to have that attitude adjustment and be like Jesus said in this crazy world that we're living in. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.